You'll be commended for this, you know. The hero who led the scouring of Moncala. That's a sort of accolade that gets people's attention. Makes them listen to what you have to say. If I were in your position, I'd be thinking about what that newfound prestige could be used for when the war's over. Just a suggestion. Let's find out what Captain Carroll needs next. Our diversion was a success. The Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Moncala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral Sloan has sent reinforcements to help secure our victory. But you, Titan Squadron, will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Beradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Beradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Beradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. Before us is a historic victory, if we have the metal to seize it. The Beradium, the Overseer, even our TIE fighters are only tools. What decides a battle is our will to conquer. That's what the Rebels have never understood. If we hold to that principle, we can crush the Starhawk and win the day. We've successfully drawn off the Rebel forces protecting the Nadiri dockyards. Only a token defense remains. And the Starhawk. No doubt the Rebels believe the Starhawk is all the protection they need. They have no idea what Alberadium is about to do to their defender. Get ready. It's time. So, on to Nadira. Captain Carroll's tenacity and your hard work have made this possible. Of course, mere numbers aren't enough to win a battle. But I'll give you the best moment-to-moment -moment analysis that I can. The Beradium will be at your disposal for the crucial moment I've seen to it. The rest is in your hands. Unfortunately, we cannot issue you Beradium munitions from the get-go. With the enemy shields up, there's a high probability that missiles will be lost in the crossfire. Or a pilot. Either would be quite devastating. Gray asked me about the Starhawk's tractor beam, but don't worry. That won't be a factor in this battle. With the Starhawk docked, its tractor beam would endanger the dockyards and everyone stationed there. The Rebels' squeamishness gives us the advantage. Good luck. Not a factor I can predict, sadly. You know this attack is about more than the Starhawk, Vanguard, or even the Dockyards. It represents a strike at everything this new Republic represents. What they think they gained at Endor. New Republic. Even the name's a joke. The Republic has never been anything but 10,000 squabbling voices. Though after this, they'll be screaming in unison. Let's show the New Republic for the sham it really is. It's clear the Captain trusts you. Leading the Beradium strike against the Starhawk is a big responsibility. You've more than proved you're capable. Agreed. The path has been long, but I'm proud to fly with both of you. What's next? After the war? 
I've been at this a long, long time. I'll retire. Maybe somewhere quiet, near the water. My husband would be happy anywhere without Durasteel walls at this point. What about you, Shen? This is what I do. I'm needed here. War or not. Fair enough. Time to go. Consider outfitting your bomber to handle New Republic fighters as well as their capital ships. Your loadout is looking good. It'll be even better once we're cleared to give you Beradium explosives.
assault. It's time. Viridium has made contact with the Dockyard's shields. This won't take long. Titan, we need to fly past that Starhawk to hit their generators. It won't be a problem. All units report in. You're wasting your breath. They're dead. James told me about you, Teresa. Violence follows wherever you go. Fostar, Haven, Hosni, and Prime, DeSevril, Moncala. History will remember what side you chose. History has no sides. Only survivors. Our shields will hold. Only as long as we let them. Titan, destroy the dockyard's shield generators. Understood.
finish what needs finishing, then regroup.
Angela. All personnel board the Starhawk immediately. I'm flying us out of here. Captain, the Starhawk is powering up. I believe they're trying to flee. Pathetic. Titan 3, return to the Overseer for Meridian munitions immediately. Absolutely. Happy hunting. Now, Titan 3, attack the Starhawk. Do not let it get away. Starhawk, make your peace. We're leaving, and taking everyone from the Nadiri dockyards with us. You've evaded the Empire long enough. Today, there will be no escape. Titan 3, General Simtula is aboard the Starhawk. Immobilize it, and the Overseer will deliver the killing blow. Moving to attack. But you know, I'm being followed.
I'm here now, Teresa. If there's anything you want to say, say it. All stations, fire on that ship! <laughs> Thank you. 